Hey guys, Alan here. Finally, we are going to find out which thermal paste is the best. I will be using my Raspberry Pi 4 with tower cooler as a test bench for this video. First one is good old MX4 without thermal conductivity value, unfortunately. Then we have Honeywell PTM 7950SP at 8.5 watt thermal conductivity. Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut have no thermal conductivity value, unfortunately. Then we have Alphacool Sub-Zero at 16 watt of thermal conductivity. Finally, my favorite. Alpha Cool Apex at 70 watt of thermal conductivity. Now we're going to take a look at the viscosity and thickness of all five of them. First, looking at Alpha Cool Apex, we can see that this space is much thicker and easier to work with, while having high thermal conductivity at 70 watt per meter Kelvin, which is higher than any other paste that I'm aware of. Alpha Cool Sub Zero is your standard soft paste, but with high thermal conductivity at 16 watt per meter Kelvin, it is still one of the best ones. Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut is a good paste, which I was using for a long time, and it works great, but it might not be ideal if contact surface is not good. Now to the star of 2021, Honeywell. This space is commonly misunderstood and that is mainly because of Lenovo and reviews. Lenovo is using it because of their poor build quality and since this is phase changing paste, it is ideal for them as a gap filler for their cooling blocks. At 8.5 watts per meter Kelvin, this is nothing special. Now good old MX4 is just a soft paste, working fine as intended and reflecting why it does not cost as much as others do. After testing application of all of them, I would say that the hardest one is Honeywell followed by Alpha Cool Apex simply because of the paste thickness. Interesting is that Honeywell is at almost the same thickness as soft thermal pad and it can be formed as one would need it to be, which could make it perfect a replacement for thermal pads. Now, as I have mentioned, I will be using Raspberry Pi 4 with small tower cooler and a fan. I will be testing them with and without fan. Most important test will be fan that will turn on when CPU reaches 60 degrees and it will run until CPU temperature drops to 50. This test is important to see how fast will thermal paste be able to transfer heat to copper heat pipe, which in my case will determine which paste is the best. I will be covering the whole CPU with paste and at the end I will have small drop in the middle to make sure that all air is pushed out and that it's making good contact with cooler. Here we can see that spread is even and that the paste is being pushed out slightly. Since I was not able to do this in one try, I was using temperature and humidity data to provide delta between different results so that tests make more sense. To max out CPU cores at 2.3 GHz, I was using this command. Every test was run for 15 minutes and it was repeated 3 times for good measure. And now let's get to the results. Looking at the idle and fan off, we can see that all of them are mostly the same. Thermal Grizzly was the best one in this test. Also, don't forget you can pause the video and uh, take a closer look at the charts. Now with fan on, we are getting around seven to nine C of delta between CPU and ambient temperature. 
Thermal Grizzly is again winner here. Stress test with fan off shows the same with Thermal Grizzly having the lowest temps. Now with fan on in this stress test nothing basically changes, the Thermal Grizzly is still the best one. Now looking at out of fan scenario we can see which one is the best and this time we have a new winner. In this case it's Alpha Cool Apex. Ambient temp was lower than Thermal Grizzly but time to hit 60 was much longer and time to get back to 50 was also lower. Now my theory is that thicker paste was able to better hold and transfer heat from the chip and reach the full limit of this cooler basically. Now to sum up, Honeywell is a good but expensive and hard to find. Thermal conductivity isn't any better than other ones. Alpha Cool Apex is the best one in my opinion, it just ticks all the boxes, it is hard paced with great thermal conductivity and application is slightly easier than Honeywell. And the main downside is that it is still expensive one to get. Alpha Cool Sub-Zero is good when it comes to the standard soft paste since its thermal conductivity is better than others and it's slightly thicker which makes it uh, better for different surfaces. Then we have Thermal Grizzly, it is one of the best to be honest but it's not ideal for applications where the eye contact is not perfect but as we could see performance is there definitely. At the end I came to this conclusion, whatever paste you use it will be fine. However, if your CPU GPU die is not making adequate contact with your cooling solution then you will need to go with one of the thicker ones. At the end my go-to will be Apex for CPU and GPU die and Honeywell as a replacement for thermal pad since when it's cold it can be removed easy as a pad. Well thanks for watching and consider subscribing. Cheers!